if you look at the individual fabrics here, there's these cute little bears wearing bow ties. So if you don't know what a puzzle mystery quilt is, it's not really a block of the month because the clues will not always make a full block, but it is a shipment sent out once a month for 10 months. By the end of the 10 months, you'll get the final clue of how to assemble your puzzle quilt. So if you haven't joined already and you're thinking about joining, I have a link in the description to the Cotton Cuts website and it'll take you directly to the 2023 spring puzzle mystery quilts. And if you use the code Kayla Village, you'll get a free gift. I don't get anything extra out of it, but if you can, why not? Let's get our fabric pulled out and get our directions pulled up and we will start assembling the first block. Look, we even got this adorable little pin. Okay, so since my printer decided to be a butthead, I have everything pulled up on the phone and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get everything laid out in the shape of a block because that's the way my brain works. Okay, the block is laid out. I am going to go ahead and lay out the other blocks just to make sure that I have the pattern correct because I like to double check everything. Everything is all laid out and we're going to go ahead and look at the first directions. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to sew rectangle D to rectangle F and then we're going to put rectangle C on top. I'm going to go ahead and cut these apart. We're going to go ahead and sew fabric C onto fabric D. Okay, all the rectangles are sewn together. We are pressing this way. The seams are going this way. So we are actually going to lay the fabric like this, set the seams, fold it open. And there's our block. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now we're gonna go through this one kind of together just to make sure that we don't miss any steps here. We're going to take fabric A and fold it over right sides together onto fabric F. And then we're going to get these lined up. Super simple. And we're gonna sew a quarter inch seam allowance along this side right here. I'm gonna clip those strings really quick and we're going to go ahead and press it open and we are pressing the seam toward the triangle so lay it down on the mat set the seam flip it over and iron it all right we've got it ironed open and then we're going to go ahead and take this triangle and flip it over and get it lined up so lined up perfectly and then sew our quarter inch press that open with the seam allowance towards the triangle all right, and look how perfect that is. So let's go ahead and chain piece all four of these, all four of these, and all four of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all 12 of the middle pieces. Now we have our three flying geese units and our two side pieces. We're going to sew these together and we're going to press the seams up. I'm gonna go ahead and sew these together and we're going to nest the seams that is how we're going to get our lines completely perfect. We're going to put them together and then slide them together and then pin it right there. So I'm going to do it with it perfectly lined up. You can feel when it locks and then I'll pin it. I'll do the same thing here. Slide it together, feel it lock. And that one I got hit by the sewing machine. The last bit of instructions is to press those seams out and here is my finished block. I don't think I've ever sewn a block that was this easy. But I'm talking easy as in it is so well cut that it is so easy to get those points just absolutely perfect. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you could hit that like button for the algorithm, I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see more of the puzzle mystery quilt, or if you want to see some of the other stuff that I'm doing, then please consider subscribing. And I will see you guys next time.